Now we are going to select the motor mounts. In order to select the motor mounts, the procedure to select the motor mounts in internet is with the total vertical force and the area, the thickness of the stringer. The thickness of the stringer. Exactly. With that area, with that uh, distance, and the total vertical force produced in each motor mount, you can select the appropriate motor mount per each engine. All right? Okay, we are going to calculate. The first one is how much is the total vertical force in each, in each motor mount? This information is coming from my book of Introduction to Marine Engineering. You can you can uh, check my books in uh, my webpage, mrlopezclasses.com, and you found it, the Introduction to Marine uh, Engineering book. In this book, I explain the procedure to align an engine, the procedure to install the propeller, the chaff, the strut, everything, the procedure to select the motor mount, the procedure to calculate the motor mount. This information is coming from uh, that book. All right. And now we are going to calculate the first component. The first component is because the weight. All right, the vertical force because the weight. The vertical force is in each motor mount is the total weight, the total weight of the engine, engine plus transmission, of course, divided by four. And for the front engines, the front engines support 40% of the total weight. And the rear motor mount support 60% of the total weight because normally the engines are inclined like this. Ah, those, those engines support 60% of the total weight and those motor mounts support 40% of the total weight. All right? Okay. How much is the total weight? In this particular example, the, the, the weight of the engine is 1450 pounds. And the weight of the transmission is 350 pounds. Okay, the total weight is 1800 pounds. For this type of engine, this is a C series. All right, now, because the weight, we are going to calculate the vertical force in the front motor mounts and the vertical force in the rear motor mounts. In the front motor mounts is the total weight divided by four, 40% of this. Okay, is 1800 divided by four times 0.4 is 180 pounds for the front per each front motor mount. In the rear motor mount, we have the total weight divided by 4 times 0.6 is 270. This is the vertical force because the weight. All right, right now we are going to calculate the vertical force because the torque. All right, is the force times the radius. Uh, we know the, uh, the torque. We know the radius because in the catalog I have the weight of the engine and I divide it into and this is the radius. Okay, let me check that information. Okay, for this type of engines, the total weight of the engine is 30 inches. Okay, the radius is 15 inches. And the maximum torque that we calculated before is 1203 foot pounds. All right. And, uh, be careful because I have the radius in inches. I am going to convert in feet. Okay, one feet is equal to 12 inches. 15 inches will be X. X is 1.25 feet. Perfect. The torque, 1203, is equal to the force times the radius. Okay, the, ver the force, the vertical force, because the torque will be 1203 divided one by 1.25 feet with feet bye bye and is 962.4 pounds. This is the vertical force produced because the torque of the engine. Bingo! Right now I have the vertical force because the torque and I have the vertical force because the weight. I am going to add it both of them and I have the total vertical force in each motor mount. And right now I go in internet and I select the motor mount according with the total vertical force and the thickness of the stringer. Finito.